Matt Tabler's been named the new boys basketball coach at Elida High School after a 14-year successful run at Perry, where he is the school's all-time winningest coach with 209 wins. Tabler was board approved on Wednesday as the new coach of the Bulldogs. He had the opportunity to meet with the media. All right, let's uh, let's just start with uh, the thought process. I think a lot of people figured you were going to be at Perry for the long haul, and maybe you did too. How, how to come to make the decision? Take us back to the beginning. Well, I guess... Um... You know, thinking back to the beginning, um, starting at Perry 14 years ago, I never dreamt that I would be there that long, um, but I fell in love with that community. Um, but with that being said, um, Elida has always been a dream of mine. Um, I grew up in the school district. My parents owned a house here for 40 years. Um, most of my friends were Elida. If it wasn't for Lima Central Catholic, I would have been an Elida Bulldog. Um, what I really believe is this, this whole community is a championship community with championship schools and uh, with championship facilities. And I'm just proud to be a part of that. Well, take us back to earlier today or yesterday, whenever it was, you had to give the news to your now former team. That's always uh, emotional. Could you give us sort of a recap on how that went? Well, it's tough um, because we grow relationships. Um, we grow relationships as coaches for life. So it's not one of those where, hey, I'm just going to another school. And, and I said, I told the boys, I'm not writing my obituary. I just feel like this is a great advancement in my career, but at that I loved each one of you. And uh, I am an emotional person, um, but at the same time, um, I kept it together until each one of them came up and hugged me. And I, I knew that uh, I, I meant something to them. And that's not only with my current players, but for all 14 years, I've had great players and that's what makes a great program. We've had great players, great community, great administration, and uh, I'm just looking forward uh, to continuing that here at Elida. Have, have you, you met? Had, Go ahead, Jim. Have you had the first meeting with your new team? And what no, we have not met. Uh, we were going to just go by the book here, make sure I get board approved um, before I met with anybody, mm -hmm. and then um, hopefully sooner than later I will get to meet with these guys. We still have 10 days left at Perry. I'm going to finish out my teaching there. Um, but we're going to get moving quickly because we have two or three weeks before we have to start our summer, uh, our summer stuff. What can the Elida players and fans expect out of a Matt Tabler coach basketball team? Well, uh, first thing is I am intense, and um, I bring a lot of discipline as well with that intensity. Um, we may play a little different than what uh, people may be used to at Elida. Um, but we feel like um, we can build a mentality with these kids. We know we know these kids. It's not like we're, we live far, far away. And uh, so I know what type of kid that we're getting at Elida. We get hard-nosed, tough kids. And I think the system that we're going to put in will suit them. Um, it's going to take time. And it's going to be a process. And as long as the kids and everyone understands that, I think good things are coming for Elida basketball. What might be different about what Elida's used to? You said there might be some difference. Um, sometimes, I, you know, in the past, just watching some of the teams, and, and this is not um, with every Elida team, but it was more walk the ball up the floor, no pressing, um, maybe a little more methodical. And not saying that's the wrong way, but that's not the way we coach or I will coach. Uh, we like to get up and down the floor a little more offensively and then maybe cause a little more havoc with our defense to create some offense. You graduated from LCC in 95, is that right? Yes, in 1995. And yes. from Miami? Miami in 1999, yes. And then I got my master's in 2014. I guess uh, the next question follows. What's your teaching situation at Perry that you've been doing? Will you be doing that here? Talk about that. Um, I will be teaching um, a few sections of health. They haven't got the entire schedule. Um, I think that would be more of a question for Mr. Sharp, but they have discussed I will be doing sections of health and also credit recovery. Um, and then in the future, hopefully getting me some more physical education classes. Do you live in Elida already? I live um, four houses away from the Elida School District. I live on, yeah, so, okay. yep, yeah, very, very close, but yep, this is the first time I haven't lived in the Elida School District. You mentioned it's a dream job for you, and you and I have obviously had these conversations many a times, and uh, um, what's it gonna be like to walk in uh, for the first time, what, at practice, you know, for your first official practice, there at the field house. Is that something you've thought of yet? I'll probably get the awe of walking in there when it's empty by myself um, out pretty soon. I got to get rid of that because we got to go to work. Um, obviously, um, the facilities are championship facilities. Um, 
I think anybody would give anything to be able to coach there on a nightly basis, and I'm excited. But I'm, I'm most importantly excited for this community and these kids in this school. Um, I, I think that we just have good things coming, and it's, like I said, it's going to be a process, but uh, I'm, I'm just very excited. Elida and LCC turned into a kind of a rivalry back when you were there. I can remember every time Elida had an off night, I'd look down and see Chris Adams scouting, scouting you guys in the end bleachers there at Lima Senior. You know, do you have any personal memories of that rivalry? Well, there's Elida? nothing like the lore of that place. I mean, um, when it's filled rafter to rafter, um, I remember we were number one in the state, and they played us the closest that we'd ever played. It was my junior year. We came over here to the field house, and we only beat them by 11. And then, unfortunately, most of my friends were seniors my, the next year, and they broke uh, at the field house. First game of the tip-off, it would have been the 94-95 season. Uh, they beat us to break our 48-game uh, regular season winning streak. So um, all records were meant to be broken, but hopefully we don't have that much heartbreak as a, as a coach in the field house and more triumphs. Matt Tabler has been approved as the new boys basketball coach at Elida. And Matt, I know this is the dream job. You've said it before, you've said it many times. It takes a very special situation for you to leave what you currently have at Perry, but obviously you felt compelled enough to uh, pull the trigger and make the move here to Elida. Yeah, it's crazy how things work and how quick quick they work, Darren. Um, you know, I, I was content and happy at Perry. Um, I have great kids out there, a great community, and um, there's been opportunities in the past few years that I could have looked elsewhere, but there was only one job that was really appealing, and it was the Elida School's job. And so uh, when this opened up, it, it was a quick process, um, but it was it was nice that they thoroughly did their interviews, and I can't thank the superintendent enough, and Mr. Mendrick, and as well as our, our principal, Mr. Sharp, and our assistant principal, Mr. Laramore, and then and then Mr. Dave Evans has been nothing but professional as the athletic director, as well as the board of education and the entire interview committee. Um, they did a great job. Um, I'm just so excited for this opportunity, and I can truly say this is a dream job. You know, you talk about this opportunity. You know, the cupboard isn't necessarily bare at Eli either. You've got some nice pieces coming back that, you know, with a little bit of seasoning and polishing, you know, could turn into a nice little ball club. You have some youth as well, but I know you're chomping at the bit to get with your guys um, once you can, uh, once you get wrapped up with your duties at Perry. Well, exactly. And this is a whole process of a thing. You know, um, maybe in my first year, I felt a little overwhelmed with what we were trying to do. But as you start to coach and you get more seasoned, you start to understand that it is a process. You've got all these pieces that you lay out on the table and you're going to try to put them together. My first thing I'm going to do is just try to get to know everybody. And I want them to get to know me so that we build that relationship first up before I start demanding things. But again, I'm just excited to work with these kids. Like, like you alluded to, they have some nice people pieces back and, and we're going to look at those things and mix in a, a few other things and I'm excited to see what we can do. Perry basketball has been almost a run and jump, create havoc, um, so to speak, and you know, predicated off of your intensity there on the sideline. You want to go the full 84, 94 feet, whatever the workplace environment dictates on that night. Um, I would have to assume along the same lines that's going to be the ML here at Elida. Oh, well, most definitely. The first thing you got to start out with is hard-nosed kids and we got hard-nosed kids here at Elida. Um, and, and then the next thing is the discipline. Um, we will instill discipline, not even on the floor, but off the floor. So it carries both ways. And, and then you can do a lot of things from there. And so, yes, we're going to play a little more up-tempo. We're going to be fast-breaking, hopefully, and uh, playing a little more full-court defense and mixing in things here and there. But I'm just excited to get with the kids, get to build up some relationships, and then move forward from there. I know it was extremely hard for you to talk with your guys at Perry to let them know. Um, how did they handle it? And on the flip side, uh, how did Coach handle that? Well, Coach Tabler is pretty emotional. Um, I invest everything I have. I don't have children of my own, so these are like all my children. And so um, it was a rough day. Um, I think some of them knew it's coming. We are in small town USA and <laughs> social media. A lot of things travel with a lot of rumors, but I think they kind of expected it. But um, what meant the most was each one of them came up and gave me a hug and said thank you. And um, you, you, those are the relationships, you know, that you build for life. Um, I've had over 15, 20 players that have played for me in the past sending me text messages today congratulating me. And that means a lot because that means the relationship was built up more than just basketball. It was about a lot more. It was about life. Uh, back here to Elida, um, obviously the work begins with your players, but also with the coaching staff. Has that process begun? 
Um, you're going to try and mix it with some guys that you've worked with in the past and maybe try to have a little light of flavor, some guys that have been here in the past too. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's very important that you see from last year's staff who's interested and who isn't. And then you obviously want to surround yourself with some Elida people. Um, they know this community. Um, they know this basketball program. They know these schools and these teachers. And so, you know, it's going to be of a process just like everything else. We'll, you know, we'll... Um, dot our I's and cross our T's by making sure everybody's on board and then we'll move forward from there. Dreams come true, my friend. Congratulations. All right. Thanks a lot, Aaron.